what it is guys it's the wolf here with more fire information all right so once again i want to thank everybody for chiming in um, i will try to not take up too much of your time because you know we do it we keep it less than 10 to 15 minutes here that's what she said all right so that being said let's get going all right um so this particular video is about using their terms okay so i addressed this about two years ago and i got of course somebody hey well you're using the word gerant you're using the word blah 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 okay so let me explain if you are making your true without their jurisdiction you're not trying to prove anything within their system true you should not use any of their words any of their benefits um, nothing if at all possible nothing 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 use your own words use a different set of words um, whatever it is okay when you use your when you create your affidavits or even if you use like one of mine put your family crest logo on there use your proper name um, uh, James Tiberius of the Love It Nation. Okay, um, don't use the zip code. Don't use the two-digit abbreviation. Um, you know, don't use obviously like the word drive. Don't use anything that's theirs. Make it completely yours, and you're fine. However, I digress. Here's one of the things that happens. Sometimes these places realize what what it is they have. Okay, so if you use your own numbering system, letters and symbols and whatever else. Some of them will actually tell you that they're not going to accept it and they will return it because one, they'll say they don't have the filing capacity. Two, they'll say, well, this is foreign. We're not allowed to keep anything foreign here. This is foreign material. It's yours. And well, we're not going to keep it. So, internet person, um, that's the whole thing is that, yeah, you're making your declaration. Yeah, it doesn't, you don't need to make your declaration. Okay. But in doing things, you might get rejected with your affidavits or your uh, affidavits of status, your declaration of truth, whatever you want to call it, um, and some of, some of your other paper. They're not supposed to, but in fact, they, well, just might do that. It's happened to me a couple times, hence why I know it. So one of the reasons why I will use their words, and, let me, and by words I mean like I'll use the word jurat, which means a solemn binding oath, which is recognized in their system. So yes, it could be construed as being partially or potentially under their jurisdiction but that's also why I would say on the same uh, affidavit that use of the notary use of the word jurat use of any jurisdictional information is not to be construed as being any form of an agreement contract or anything binding placing me under your jurisdiction okay those are the things that should be on there um, which are on most of my paperwork because well I've been down this road before so um, so when you're doing things, yes, you have to know that sometimes if they don't accept your paperwork because it's outside of their jurisdiction, sometimes you have to play ball a little bit. These are remedies, okay? A remedy means that you are using something they provide to make your claim in their jurisdiction so that's either recognized, it's taken more serious, um, or, so, or so that they will keep it and process it because now it fits their mold. But by all means, all of their files, everything they provide, we are supposed to be able to create our own and they are supposed to take it. But, come on, a little closer. Sometimes the way things are supposed to go doesn't go the way that it says it should on paper versus the real life world. Okay, back up. All right, so that being said, yeah, there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path, which means that, uh, yeah, there's lots of things they're supposed to do and they're not supposed to do. And do they always do those things? No. So you, at the end of the day, have to find a way that works. So if they ignore this, try it that way. Okay, but yes, I will say that at the end of the day, you should always use your own paperwork, your own filing system, your own codes and numbers for whatever, um, and um, your own logos. Always use your own logos. Don't use theirs. Never. Um, but uh, yeah, that's why there's remedy, okay? Like for instance, UCC 1-308 means you're not contracting, you are uh, protecting, reserving all of your rights, um, any, you're not entering into anything unknowingly, and
And so that is a remedy, much like most of these things. They are remedies. These are things that if you are walking into their waters, these are the pieces or the tools that you can use to ward off the darkness. Okay, that's not going to cost you anything. All right, um, they're not to imply jurisdiction. So use them if you need, okay? Because if they're like, well, you got to sign this, and you're like, no, I've got my own crest and my, my own stamp. And they're like, yeah, we don't, we're, we're, not, we're not listening to that. You know, especially if someone's like, yeah, we're about to muff you up if you don't do this. What is your, what is your little crest going to do at that point in, in your stamp when it's at home? Well, I don't have it on me, and so they're going to like, sign or womp, okay? You sign your name on there, but you put UCC 1-308, okay? If they're forcing you to sign something, there it is. It's a remedy. What are you going to do? Like, oh, I don't want to use a remedy. I'm just going to sign it. Now you have no footing other than you signed this of your own free will and accord. Nothing shows that it was under duress. All right, so that's about it, guys. I just wanted to give you a little information on that. So, yes, by all means, stay out of their jurisdiction, stay out of their way, stay out of their crosshairs. It doesn't mean be afraid of them or whatever else. It also does not mean to be a belligerent or combatant. Always handle yourself in a proper business professional way. And uh, at the end of the day, um, do what you have to do to take care of yourself, be smart, and, uh, you know, use your pen and paper because the pen is mightier than the sword. So... They might have won the battle, but you'll win the war if you keep going, all right? And I'll keep, keep and stay in honor, all right? That's it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Nothing but the best of energy and positive thoughts to all of you guys. I'm out. Got more work to do.